Two young filled rosters looking to flex their muscles in a crucial Colonial League showdown. Bangor leading 5-4 to four halfway through the opening quarter. Brian Gonzalez receives the pass and buries the tray to put Salisbury Township ahead 7-5. Sophomore strikes again for the Falcons. After getting his hands on the pass, Gonzalez quickly shoots the three and nails it to give his squad a 15-11 lead going into the second quarter. The hot shooting sophomore already with nine points heading into quarter number two. He's not the only one to hit from three. Jacob Cadet knocks down his only bucket of the contest. His three points put Salisbury Township ahead 21-11 with 440 remaining in the half. Down 25-19 with under a minute to go. Jeremiah Singer through the defense passes to Mike Bucker who takes it home with a layup. His only bucket of the half. 32-25 Salisbury Township led going into the final quarter of play. It was Gonzalez early for the Falcons. This time it was Steven Lozada. The sophomore hits from downtown to extend the team's lead to 35-31 with 544 remaining. Hunter McShane with nine points for Banger. He takes control late as he drives towards the bucket for his 11 points of the night. Banger within two points, 37-35. The Falcons knock off the hot playing Slaters with a 50-45 win at home. Salisbury Township improves to seven and six on the year. Banger falls to seven and five. Feels great, you know, we uh, last year we lost them by a lot and it's good that we came here uh, and at home to win. Uh, it was great, you know, big win. You know, had a tough loss to Notre Dame the other day before, I think by 15, you know, so it boosted confidence to come out here and beat them by six. It was huge. I mean, this this team's learning how to win. Um, we had a rough season last year. We had five wins, and uh, to beat a team that's 7-1 in the league, that hasn't happened here where we're beating a team that's – they were favored coming in, I would think. They, they should be expected to win, and we stepped up tonight. And uh, we talked about it in the locker room, like it's, it's time to take the next step. We, we've won some games. We're up to seven wins, but beating a really solid team, we haven't accomplished that yet. A young team finding its way this season, Salisbury was able to do so behind shot execution and playing physical when it mattered most. Yeah, it um, gives us a lot of confidence because we have a long stretch coming up, a big week next week. Um, that we can ride off into the playoffs this year. A lot of confidence, you know, we got a big game against uh, Wilson this weekend. Uh, we think we can take them too, you know. It's just, the confidence is just boosted from this. It's huge. It's just it's learning how to win. Um, and they're growing up, and I have a lot of guys back from last year, which is a good thing, and we have good senior leadership. Um, but we had two young guys that stepped up as our two leading scorers. And I think uh, Brian's three in the corner late was a huge shot for us. I think it was a two-point game, I believe, at that point, two or three. And uh, to knock that down with some confidence is huge. So I, we can shoot the ball. I keep saying to this to guys all the time, we can shoot, we can score. We just have to have the confidence to believe that we can. I believe in you. You guys got to believe it yourselves. From Salisbury Township High School, I'm Mike Ventola for the Service Electric Network.